I've been observing others who have been going through betrayals of trust. In fact, the other day I watched a video and I watched this short little video from a friend uh, several times. And I could feel her hurt. And I could feel the anguish that she's going through. It's something much deeper than other type of wounds. Because when you give your trust to a friend or spouse, your employer or fellow worker, neighbor, somebody, and you've confided in them, you've opened up a part of your heart and your soul to them, either in a relationship or a conversation or your life together or whatever. It's all the same thing. When you betray that, when somebody betrays you and exposes your secrets or things that you didn't want to share with the world or worse than that, lies about you, or conspires to make your life worse or put you in a different light. And these are the people that you trusted at one time. That is probably one of the most hurtful things that you could do to somebody. I've been in war. I've been blown up. I've been shot. I've been wounded. I've seen demons, literally. I've, I've had terrible things happen to me in my life. I've faced all kinds of things. I've faced intimate death. I faced major surgeries in my life. I faced uh, losing people in my life. None of them ever hurt more than actually being betrayed by somebody that you've put your trust into. Don't tell anybody this. I'm telling just me and you. And boom, it's gone. Once that's gone, the trust is shattered. There's not much you can do to undo it. And I tell people in most cases, most cases, if it's your spouse, your partner, you got to make a little bit of effort. You got, and so you have to work on that. But if it's not your spouse, if this is a friend that did that to you, um, and there's no remorse on their part or even acknowledgement of the hurt, then walk away. Walk away. It's not your job to reach out and try to fix it. It's not your job. Forgive them. Love them. Wish them well. Don't hold any grudges, but walk away. Somebody betrays you once, you can never trust them again. That's why in countries like the United States or England or Russia, it doesn't matter what country it is, one of the worst offenses that you could ever have is to betray the government, whatever government you have. I mean, you face the death penalty for giving away government secrets, life in jail. It's one of the worst punishments you can get is betrayal of your country. But if you're walking around thinking nobody's ever going to betray you and that you can trust everybody, then you're literally living in a fantasy world when you have to realize that even Jesus himself was betrayed. And when he needed people the most, when he needed somebody to say, yes, I'm here for you. No, it didn't happen. But that happened to him as an example. How did he handle it? Okay. So if this has happened to you, my heart goes out to you because I really feel it's one of the worst hurts you can have. You can overcome the rest of it, but not being able to trust people. For some people, unfortunately, that starts with their parents and their own family. And where you've been promised and promised things and things didn't happen and you've been sold out. And so there's a lot of issues involved. I just want to deal with the basics here. So forgive, move on. Don't forget. Don't forget there was a betrayal there. You, you can forget, remember that. That's okay. And don't hold on to the hurt. You got to let that hurt go. If you have to have a good cry, great, go get a good cry. But eventually you have to realize that betrayal is like a death. It can be hard to recitate that friendship again. If it's a husband or wife that has betrayed you, then you have to explore those options. You have something bigger at stake. But just for friendship and for an employer or an employee, or somebody you're working with, don't ever trust them again. It's okay, but love them and forgive them. But you have to love yourself first and respect you first. So don't put up with that. God bless.